Hello everybody, this is Manuel and in this e-series tutorial today I would like to show you how you can use the Google Nick collection with the Mac Photos software. So if you do work with Mac Photos, uh, you probably realize that you're somewhat limited with what you can do. So having plugins or extensions uh, really help when it comes to post-production. Post, uh, uh, so basically the Nick collection is free. So it is great because you will get these seven uh, plugins that you can do a lot of things with. Uh, there is like black and white plugins, HDR, some to sharpen, uh, some denoise. So there's a lot of things you can do. So as is right now, I'm on their website. So if you look at the bottom, you'll find that under the Mac requirement, you need to have a Adobe software in order to make it work. So basically you see here you need Photoshop, Photoshop 11, uh, Lightroom, or the old Aperture, uh, the Apple Aperture software. Nowhere in there uh, where you see that you can use the Photos platform to use these plugins. So there's a way around it. What you need to do is go to your App Store. There is a software here called External Editors for Photos. I bought it for $1.34 Canadian today, so it's very cheap. Press on it, buy it, download it. Once you get the suite on your computer downloaded and this software, you all you got to do is go to Photos. So right now I chose this uh, picture of my backpack, right? So all I got to do is press the Edit button on the right top corner, and then you go to Extensions on the right menu at the bottom. See, now I can find the external editor. So if you just downloaded the whole thing, it won't be there. What you need to do is press more. Now, this will open. You will find the external editor. So all you got to do is press in the box there, ticket, and close this. Go back to your extensions, and it will be there. So you're going to press on this. What will happen here is the external editors will be the middleman between photos and whatever software you, you want to use afterwards. So, In here on the right column you'll find all the softwares on your computer plugins that you can use with a JPEG photo. So I did a little list here. I used the favorite tabs and I just added all of the Nick collection plugins in there. The way to do this if you want so you don't have to go through everything every time so you press add application find where your Nick collection folder is on your computer mine was under the applications and then press on whatever plugin you want to add into that list and select application and then you can create your own list of application you can choose afterwards so I'm going to open analog effects pro 2 so as we speak right now it is opening and there will be this pop-up saying this is a software taking from the internet do you want to open it and then you just press open and here it is we are working with the Nick collection with a photo that we took from the Mac photos software as simple as this all you needed was that middleman software a dollar 34 is totally worth it so I won't go in details about what this analog effects pro 2 do but let's say we like the feel of this photo we're gonna save it now the image is getting saved the software the Nick collection software will close after saving bringing the changes back into the middleman so the external editors if we're happy with that change we're gonna press save changes and it will go back to photos so here it is we're gonna press done we're back in photos and then we're back to that great platform where we can share on different devices and stuff like that. So hopefully this worked good for you. If you have any questions or any trouble, uh, just let me know. I can uh, probably help you with it. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this will kind of like uh, enhance your editing experience in the future, having all those great free plugins and uh, that really help out to create more fun stuff. Alright, so thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Bye!